Hi everyone, Shadge here. So, uh, we're gonna go over a couple things, but quickly, you gotcha. Osha Forest. It was weird because when I was looking at the preview, I what it was. I thought it said it was water love, rock will love. Anyway, uh, free spins first. So, um, if you didn't see the video, you don't, you pro if you watch my, if you watch my cookbook play videos, you probably don't watch my Tales from Runner ones, but they announced recently that, uh, Tales Runner is relicensed. Six times the charm! <laughs> How many times is it going to be licensed and shut down? How many times am I going to have to suffer? Ah, God. Yeah, so, uh, relicense for mobile. And I explain the whole details and I do some research and track down the origins of this company that has licensed it. Because there are several people out there who have been trying to secure the license that run private servers. Uh-huh. So yeah, um, but similar to what Don Gate just did, where uh, fans have chipped in to try to gather money to buy the license. That's what the private servers people were trying to do. This is an official company related with Rune Entertainment, the developers of Hell's Runner. So, Gumba Dibby, and also I'm wearing. Ruby's jersey because I'm going to film the Love Live video after this, uh, which is a limited edition card of Ruby. It's almost her birthday. I look forward to that. This, I expect it to go up tomorrow after this video um, is uploaded. Well, I mean, like a day after this video is uploaded. And then have her birthday video as well. For the Love Live School at Festival, not All Stars one. But yeah. <gasps> we got a rare. What do we get? I think there's only female eyes anyway, so that's pretty good. Oh no, there is a decor item, which is. Did we. Is that what we got? Nope, it's female eyes. But there were decor items, so we could have gotten that as well. Oh, it's beautiful. Osho Sky Window. The clouds and starry sky. I guess we'll try to go with... Pretty... I'm gonna do five later on my own. Um, but it'd be... Actually, I should have checked if there was a um, time play reward. I do know one of the next gotchas that's coming up for Star Wars is... Hit five, right? It doesn't do like some sort of little thing. We were at 12, so... It shows like 22 then um but one of the next gotchas coming for star wars is a selfie 13th anniversary gotcha which may have the 10 play trade-in thing oh well, not trade-in but like bonus item for 10 play so probably wise to save my 10 play ticket for that just in case they do have it like that but sometimes for what cookbook play does is um they make it where the 10 play items for those uh sets they're mostly going to be trade-in items That's why you see multiple eyes often uh, where it's not just like a s rare eye and a um rare eye it's usually like two or three rare eyes so excellent that but um mm-hmm Let's see. Um, what else? Oh, um, the world's gone to hell. Rest in peace, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Her country's going to hell. She fought hard, trying to make sure that she could live long as she could. However, now. 
is stupid. I hate pol our politicians so much. Because uh, if you don't know, Ruth Bader Ginsburg is a Supreme Court Justice. And Supreme Court Justices are appointed by the President for life. So as long as they live, they'll always hold their seat. Or until they decide to retire. That's the other option. Um, but yeah. Since we're in an election year and there is practically one month left until the election, people are expecting Trump's gonna try to rush out a nomination real quickly and appoint him. Or maybe some stupid midnight appointment. However, when Obama did it, like, because technically the Republicans were up in arms about it because it was an election year, but they only had like six months until the election. And then that would be nine more months until they, uh, you know, changed over to um, inauguration. So, I mean, he technically had enough time ish, but he did go through with it. Yet, it was a compromise where they said, and even Mitch McConnell agreed with this, where the uh, justice would be the same political um, affiliation of the judge that passed. So since it was Scalia, he was a Republican, thus Obama chose a Republican justice to replace him. Ginsburg is a Democrat. However, McConnell left out a message saying we are sorry for her loss. However, we're going to be pushing forward and choosing a Republican nomination. Back in 2016, he said he was going to respect that decision if another situation were to occur in an election year, where if they were like, say, like a Democrat passed away, they would choose a Democrat. If a Republican passed away, they would, they would choose a Republican. And they're just backing up their words. And they're already stacked. Fucking Supreme Court. He also said that he is interested in having the people vote and choose the Supreme Court justices and listen to their voices. And all honesty, I want to go... Like, there are points where it was like, should I waver the decision of assassinating people? Like, I'm, I know I'd never do it, but it's just like... So frustrating of how fucking stupid people are and how they're just destroying the fucking world. Right now, America's the laughing stock of the whole planet. And it doesn't help that uh, Trump announced his Race Realism Patriotic Education Act. As a teacher, I fully disagree with that. Poor shit. I'll, I'll admit, yes, there are some leftist teachers who have an agenda and do some questionable things for teaching. But I'm not gonna fucking stand there and say, Slavery? What's slavery? Slavery was just like, they chose to be there. They were nice, you know? Like what Kanye said. This sucks. I'm sorry for venting about this, but... <sighs> it just sucks. Now let's talk about Kokopa. Let's see. Um, I don't know what that face is, or if it's supposed to represent Prometheus. I mean, that's true, but that's what the P and the heart are. But, hello, watch your Elite's video. You're so lucky that you got eyes. Tradable and tradable items. Have a great day. Waving emoji. Thank you. Um, I want to say it's a Kuma face, but I may be wrong. Um, thank you very much for the comments. I'm glad that you watched my videos. And I would say yes, I am lucky that I got the eyes and tradable items. Although, honestly, I think they are saying the tradable items increase rate technically, but... Yeah, but you know, like sometimes people say, like, oh, even though I have like a 10% increase rate, I got zero. 
as well. Um, but yeah. Let's see. Um, I think that was it. Just the comments and gotchas. 35 spins. Me venting. Hell's Runner's back. I don't know what else to say. Um, make normal satisfied. Got first place, so that's good. Talk to words. Right, that's it, everyone. Um, I might do the next gacha because the 13th anniversary. I don't know if it's going to be like a large one because this one I did 35. As well as, um, I want to film that Ruby Love Live All Stars video now. I uh, look forward to that. Um, look forward to her birthday scout video as well. And then, um, I have a video essay in the works. Um, I was streaming Super Mario 60, uh, from Mario 64, but 3D All Stars uh, on Twitch. Thank you for those who stopped by. Um, it was interesting. I realized I am terrible at video games. I mean, I've been playing them for like 20 years. Anyway, have a lovely day, everyone. Good luck in your gotcha spins. Good luck in the event. And then good luck in life. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Oof.